There are millions of people suffering with pain. And the question is, what do you do about it? But the big question is, are you doing the right thing? I like to educate you and teach you about your nervous system, to understand the facts, to be able to give you a better road of recovery. Our central nervous system is made up of our brain and spinal cord. This is a model of our spine, and this shows us how the different nerves come off the spine. 31 pairs of nerves, every nerve going to a different part of the body. This is a neural pathologer. This will give you a better understanding how your body works and why you're having your pain and symptoms. The nervous system is divided into two systems. The musculoskeletal system, which is the main system that is controlling your pain and what you're feeling. The other system is the autonomic nervous system, which controls the organs and the tissues and the glands. Let's look at the neuromusculoskeletal system first. When you look at nerves in the upper neck area, the nerves in the upper neck affect over the head behind the eyes. They can cause pain, headaches. They can cause even tearing in your lacrimal glands, your lacrimal ducts that may cause you to have that running eyes. Nerves in the lower neck affect down into the arm, into the hand. You can see the nerves, how they go down into the shoulder, into the arm and hand. You may be complaining of neck pain, tingling, numbness, difficulty holding objects because you may have a lot of weakness. Nerves in the mid back area come around the rib cage. They actually go to the front of the chest. Those intercostal nerves are the nerves that run between the ribs. People may have difficulty taking a deep breath, even stabbing pain, like it's going into the chest that may give a false alarm of a heart problem. Nerves in the lower back affect the lower back area. They control the sciatic nerve, which is the largest nerve of the body, the size of your thumb and the longest nerve. It goes from the lower back down underneath the buttocks the back of the thigh, down into the ankle and toes, tingling, numbness, cramping, burning, weakness, difficulty walking, difficulty putting weight bearing on the lower back. The other part of the nervous system is the autonomic nervous system. This is a system that controls the organs, glands, and tissues. You can see how the nerves in the mid and upper back area not only control, as we talked about, the pain that you may be feeling inside the mid back, but the organs, the heart, the lungs. You can see when we go a little lower into the spine in the mid back area, you can see how it affects the stomach. People who may have gastric problems, increased acidity. The nerves in the lower back affect into the large intestine. They affect the rectal area. They affect organs down in the lower back, even the male and female reproductive areas, the kidneys, the urinary tract system, the prostate gland and males, as well as the rectum. The complication of nerves, you can see how these nerves affect different organs and tissues, but they're silent. And because they're silent, people do not feel symptoms until there's been organ dysfunction. What are the causes? Why am I having my problems? Why am I having my pain? There are three stresses, physical stress, emotional stress, and chemical stress. Let's talk about physical stress. Physical stress may be just sitting at a computer with your head in this position for prolonged periods of time. The weight of the head being 12 pounds is causing a tremendous amount of stress upon the ligaments on the posterior part of the spine. Over the course of time, your body then compensates and compromises and changes, leading to possible increased degenerative joint disease, osteoarthritis, or even disc disease. We look at the way we lift things, on how many people lift incorrectly, being overweight, having a weak core, falls, injuries, whiplash injuries, particularly hyperflexion, hyperextension, causing ligaments to stretch. Now the big question is, how do all these stresses come together? The bottom line is, stress 
is stress, physically, emotionally, or chemically. If chemicals are being changed in your body, it's going to affect the muscles. The muscles are going to tighten up, they're going to squeeze. When muscles squeeze, they can affect the pulling of the bone, causing the nerves to be affected. When these nerves are affected, then we start blocking off energy, blocking off life, energy, life force, which is energy coming from the brain, trying to get out that nerve. Blocking the energy is like stepping on a garden hose, watering a garden. If we don't get that pressure back off that nerve, the energy continues to be blocked, inhibiting the messages from the brain to make its way to wherever that nerve is supplying. If it's the stomach, you may have stomach problems. If it's the lower back, you may have lower back pain. If it's the neck, you may have pain or tingling into the arm. So physically, if you've got stretching of the ligaments, it causes the bones to shift and misalign, the end result affecting the nerves. I'd like to give you an analogy. A good analogy, if I take this rubber band and I wrap it around my finger, and I wrap it around tight, eventually you're going to start to see my finger get more redder and redder and redder. Eventually it's going to start to turn blue. Because why? It's blocking off supply, blocking off blood supply to the tip of my finger. There are three things you can do with this. One, you can leave it on and expect it to get worse and potentially lose your finger. Two, you can take medication or drugs to get rid of the symptoms because you still have not gotten rid of the cause of your condition. Or three, you can correct the cause by taking the rubber band back off to allow the normal healing process to resume again. Medicine saves lives. Emergency medicine will prevent people from dying. When people break bones or people have lacerations, it needs to be repaired immediately. We have to understand that the body is a self-healing organism, that man does not heal the body. The body heals itself. When there is interference within the spine, you're affecting life. You're affecting the impulses from the brain to make its way out of that nerve to wherever it is supplying. If we leave the messages inhibited, we leave the interference there, we're not allowing that creator or that innate intelligence within our body to do its job. When there is a symptom, there is a cause. And when there's a cause, there usually is an effect sooner or later. If we leave the cause, the problem there, the condition is going to degrade and the symptoms are going to get worse. There is nothing that I would ask for more than to see you, people like you out there, to feel well again. To understand that there are different paths, there are different roads to take. And many of you are on medications, not one or two, but five, six, or seven, or eight, different kinds of medications, just trying to deal with your pain and misery every day. But I know there are better ways. I am a chiropractic physician, and I know that there are other physicians out there who can help you, particularly if you're listening from miles and miles away from me. My main objective is that you take this information and research it and Google it and find alternative ways where you don't have to over medicate and toxify your body. We know that medication has side effects. We know that medication will affect other organs and tissues. We know that medication can cause sickness in the end. There's an important message that I would like you to understand that you've probably never heard and hopefully you'll never forget. When a sick person takes a drug and that person thinks that that medicine is making them well, but you give that same drug or medicine to a healthy person and now it makes them sick, 
that should give you a better perspective about medicine. So be wise in the things that you do. Get help, get education about nutrition, about ways that you can change your life to become a healthier human being, to live a longer life and more productive, and to be able to live your purpose with happiness and success. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.